Today we're talking with Mimi Wells, a journalist who's about to embark on an exciting new project for CIR in Afghanistan. Mimi, can you tell us what it is you're going to be doing? I'm headed to Kunar province in the east of Afghanistan to embed with a group of frontline women. Uh, these particular women are with the U.S. Army. They are on the ground um, in a province that's seeing a lot of hostile action, going door to door with infantry, tr infantry troops in groups of two to try to meet Afghan women. Um, the thinking being that if these women can uh, make connections and engage the Afghan women in these villages, that perhaps some of the seeds can be sown to gain some ground in the war. So these are called female engagement teams? Yes. It was started in 2009 by the U.S. Marines. We're going out in rural Helmand province in the south of Afghanistan. And one of the officers on the ground noticed that they, by going door to door to try to meet with local villagers um, and get them on board with the U.S. campaign, they were gravely offending people um, by looking at their women, by talking to their women, by trying to address their women. And so the program got started by these guys who realized, listen, what we really need is female soldiers out here with us. What do the women go through to prepare for this kind of assignment? In March, I spent about a week in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, with a team of female Marines. They had all volunteered. It was a group of 45 women. They were put into a three-month training program, and that included um, some basic Pashto lessons. They had um, a lot of combat training because these women were tasked with being on the ground in a place where there's a war um, and going out with male infantry. So they had a lot of um, shooting practice, drills. The training was quite rigorous. The physical training that I saw, I wasn't in incredibly impressed with the with the fitness of the women. They had a physical fitness test, um, a basic marine fitness test, and not all of the women passed, um, which is, of course, a danger when you're talking about going on 10, 12, 13-mile day-long foot patrols in 100-degree heat. But all, the women were dedicated, and their families had put a lot on the line so that they could go out there and do this job. You're, you don't have a military background yourself. Uh, what prompted you to be interested in this story? These women are making a huge sacrifice. You know, the American women, their families, and, and the Afghan women, too. It's a huge security risk for them to accept and deal with American women. I think it's an important story, and Americans need to know about it. What are the women Marines like that you met? One young woman who is a single mother of a young girl, and she had decided she was going to leave her, her daughter behind because she said to me, deploying to Helmand province is, in the end, at the end of the day, better for both of us. It means that I'll get a higher pay raise. It means that while I'm in Afghanistan, my salary is tax-free. It means that um, I'll move up the ranks quickly. You've been following these Marines in Camp uh, Lejeune. Uh, are you hoping to meet up with them in Afghanistan? I am joining a different female engagement team that is being put together by the army. I don't know the women that I'm gonna meet, but I know the terrain and the territory. So it's a strategically important area for success in Afghanistan. And the women are very important um, because they are a major part of the, the so-called Hearts and Mind campaign. You're going to a pretty dangerous part of Afghanistan, or really at the front lines. What did you do to prepare for your deployment? When I'm talking to you guys currently, I am in Georgia taking a hostile environment training course, and it's five days of intensive medical training, safety awareness, how to deal with riots, um, and simulated exercises. I think it's the closest simulation to war that I can get without actually being there. So you're, you're now uh, days away from leaving. Uh, how do you feel? I, I'm in a state of... Uh, Emotional flux. <laughs> I'm having the ups and the downs. <laughs> That's certainly understandable. We are just really looking forward to hearing from you, Mimi, as you get out there in the field. And I look forward to talking to you guys again when I'm on the ground and just taking you with me on this journey.